Hello and happy Friday, everyone. Andy Drifter here. This is going to be my first look at 2023 Bowman Platinum Baseball. This is a blaster box, and it's got, uh, I think, 32 cards. Yep, 32. So the Diamondbacks grabbed a game last night, and the Astros even things out in their series versus the Rangers. Here we go. Aaron Judge. Not a bad way to start off. Gavin Cross. Wow. Right off the rip. Uh, an auto, and it's numbered out of 50. I am not familiar. I've heard this name, but I don't know enough about this prospect. But you know what? Now is as good a time as any to find out. Gavin Cross is an outfielder who was selected in the first round of last year's amateur draft. This year, in the minors between two leagues, in 96 games, he had 12 home runs, over 50 RBI, over 20 stolen bases, but the batting average was just over the Mendoza line. Gavin Cross. Mark Vientos, Noah Miller, Trey Lipscomb, Jeremy Pena, Garrett Cole. Nolan Arenado, Dominic Keegan. What do we have here? We have new money. Michael Harris, last year's Rookie of the Year, had a shaky first half, but uh, he turned things around in the second half, and he has made some outstanding defensive plays in this year's postseason. Unfortunately, the Braves, for them, they are no longer in the playoff picture. Xander Bogarts. Anthony Volpe, Michael Harris once again, Hai Yu Lee, Chris Bryant, and Jonathan Aranda. Christopher Morell, renowned rookies, Masataka Yoshida, very nice. Expect him to finish. I believe he'll finish third in this year's AL Rookie of the Year voting. He had a very nice season. Atlee Rutschman, he is a Gold Glove finalist. Had a very nice second season. Riley Green, Nick Prado, Jordan Beck, Spencer Jones. This is a parallel. And Sia Suzuki. Freddie Freeman, Bubba Chandler, Precious Elements, Jacob Berry, and Giancarlo Stanton, who hit career home run number 400 not too long ago. You know, I saw on the Flipping Bats podcast, which I really enjoy, Alex Curry and Ben Verlander, where they talked about Giancarlo and the Hall of Fame. And they both came to the consensus that if he hits 500 home runs, he will get in. And uh, as much as I enjoy listening to them, if he has four more seasons, which is what's left on his contract with the Yankees, of hitting just either over or under 200 and gets to 500 home runs, yeah, he's not getting into the Hall of Fame. But uh, he still has a chance to turn things around. You know, I think if he, <clears throat> if he gets one more 50 home run season, that would make him the second player in Major League history to have a 50 home run season with two different teams. Mark McGuire is the other one to do that. I think if he has one more top 10 MVP finish to go along with the two that he had in Miami, that might bolster his chances. But what he really needs is a good postseason run that results in a World Series ring. The Yankees, they have not won at all since 2009. We know how important things or championships are in New York. So uh, he's been a decent postseason hitter. But yeah, if he gets a ring, maybe an ALCS MVP or a World Series MVP, that might uh, increase what little chances he has of getting into the Hall of Fame. Final pack. Here we go. Justin Verlander started off the season as a Met, finished off with the Astros. Wise decision on his part. Trey Turner having a great postseason. Jackson Holiday. 
the Minor League Player of the Year. Oscar Gonzalez, and we finish off with Juan Zoto, who had a 30 home run season, 100 plus RBI among the league leaders in on base percentage and walks, which is his usual. So that concludes this first look at 2023 Bowman Platinum. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit like and subscribe, and enjoy your Friday.